What's up, gamers? Welcome to a super cash kind of ad libbed midweek video that I thought I'd just make just to address and like opine on some things that have been happening in the world of Kerbal Space Program recently that people keep asking me about. And well, that's it actually. People keep asking me about my opinion. Have I heard of this? What do you think of that? I thought. You know what, let's just make a quick video addressing a couple of the major things that have recently happened with the whole world of Kerbal Space Program. So obviously everyone here knows the situation with KSP2, right? The game is pretty much dead, you know, communication has completely stopped. The last tweet we had from the official Kerbal Space Program Twitter account was over six months ago now, and it basically just said, we're still hard at work at Kerbal Space Program 2, we'll talk more when we can. Until this morning when they made a new tweet and um i'm just gonna quickly open my web browser because i want to get this quote correct um yeah they just tweeted a picture of donald trump and a stock image of jebediah kerman saying that donald, Tr donald trump has nominated jebediah kerman as the administrator of nasa which you know, is funny but I kind of thought that's kind of an odd thing to suddenly return to social media for. So a lot of people were speculating, like, is Kerbal Space Program active? Or more specifically, is Kerbal Space Program 2's development active again? This uh, theory that people were coming up with was further driven by the fact that recently, Private Division, and all games under Private Division, have been purchased by an unknown third party. What that means is that someone has bought Private Division and therefore someone has bought the IP for Kerbal Space Program, meaning it is no longer in the hands of Take-Two Interactive, so there is potential that development of KSP2 could restart. I am very sceptical of this personally because I don't think they're going to hire the old dev team back and if they bring on a new dev team, it's going to take so long to unpack the code of the existing KSP2, they'd probably have to start again from scratch. And I really don't think this is a game developer that's purchased the game because I think the KSP IP as a whole is pretty uh, somewhat poisoned by what happened with Kerbal Space Program 2. I just, I, I know it's pessimistic, and trust me guys, I really want KSP2 development to continue as much as everyone else, but I just can't see, I can't see it happening. I think it's just been, it's probably some private equity firm, maybe we'll get a KSP mobile game or something. I don't know, I, 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 I will believe development of KSP2 has resumed when I see it. Which brings me back to this tweet, everyone was like, oh my goodness. KSP2 has just been bought, well, you know, by proxy it's just been bought, and now the Twitter account has posted something. Could this be a sign, you know, copium drives are kicking in? But um, since then the tweet was deleted and that's that, and there's been no acknowledgement of the whole thing at all on KSP social media. So I think, and this isn't just like a thing, an idea that I've had, a lot of people have this thought, that it was just some old social media person just realized they still had access to the Kerbal Space Program on Twitter account and they just posted that. I'm not sure. I feel like, um, I would have done, if it were me, I would have like done something more, a bit more bombastic than a Trump joke. But um, yeah, that was just interesting. So yes, I have seen the tweet. Yes, I'm aware that Kerbal Space Program 2 has been purchased by, yeah, again, by kind of like by proxy because they bought Private Division, really, not Kerbal Space Program 2. But I'll believe KSP2's development is going to resume when I see it. As pessimistic as that sounds, because like I say, trust me, I really want it to resume uh, as much as anyone else. Probably I have I have a greater interest than most because obviously I kind of have a career playing Kerbal Space Program. So I, I have a somewhat deeper uh, investment in the game. Uh, the other news that I think isn't really news at this point because it's super old now, but there is a game in development called, well, it's got the placeholder name Kitten Space Agency, uh, being developed by Rocketworks. For those that don't know, when when Take-Two Interactive wanted to have make a Kerbal Space Program 2 game, basically, um, a few different companies came up with proposals and all bid on the contract. We now know, obviously, that Star Theory won that contract, and Star Theory became Intercept Games. That was a whole mess. Uh, but meanwhile, Rocketworks, you know, who didn't win the bid, said, you know what, we're going to make our own Kerbal Space Program anyway, with Blackjack and hookers or something to that extent. And so now they're working on it, and they recently shared a Reddit post, which I'll link below, um, just showing some of the things they're working on. It's all looking really, really promising, to be honest. I'm not going to talk too much about the game itself. I do think, and again, this is probably a controversial opinion, guys. I don't think it should be Kitten Space Agency, though. I think it needs to be not an animal. Like, have a little cute little alien, like a Kerbal or like a minion. Obviously, I'm not saying put minions in the game, but, you know, something like that. Like, not a real animal. Especially, I think, kittens. 
There, uh, I was talking to Danny uh, two twenty four sixty two about this, and we were like, I feel like kittens are kind of like the lowest common denom- denominator of the internet these days. Like, if this was twenty ten, it would be bacon space program, right? And I think if you just saw kit- a, t- a person that doesn't know anything about the game, if they see kitten space program on steam they're gonna think either it's a game aimed at children or you know younger audiences and it's kind of an easy casual cozy game sort of thing or just a game that's kind of cashing in on the fact that everyone loves kittens or it would be seen as like a furry thing now there's nothing wrong with either any of those three things i've just mentioned but obviously they're not what kerbal space program is it's not gonna have the same mass appeal as i feel kerbal space program. kerbal was like oh it's a cool little cute derpy alien isn't that funny what, what is this i want to look into this i just think that kitten's Space is fine as a placeholder but i i do think that uh for the final game it should probably be not not a kitten but you know Maybe that's a hot take, and no one else agrees with me. But yeah, that's um, that's that that though they, they, them's them's be my thoughts on some recent things with Kerbal Space Program. We talked about Kerbal Space Program two being bought. Uh, there was the the weird return to Twitter from the social media account, and Kitten Space Agency is being developed. And I think those are just the three things I wanted to just say. Hey guys. I appreciate you trying to make sure I'm keeping in the loop, keeping in the know about things, but but I know about these things, so don't don't worry, chill, it's fine. Uh, and then I'm working on a Kerbal. Um, don't worry, this isn't like the we- this week's Kerbal Space Program video, by the way, because I realise this is terrible. This is so good quality. I- I'm currently in the process of making Saturday's KSP video, so I'm definitely looking on track. It's gonna be a space shuttle video, but with a twist. If you look at my, if you follow me on Twitter, you probably can guess what this twist is gonna be. But it's very, it's coming out to be very funny, I hope. I it, I, I haven't recorded the commentary, obviously, but I've recorded the gameplay. And that was, I, I thought it was funny. I had a fun old time. And I'm also aware uh, Starship is launching on Monday. That's fun. Um, Yes, I feel like I'm now doing like the whole Lord of the Rings Return of the King. Like the video keeps ending and then not ending. I'm not dragging this out for money because the cutoff point for more ads is eight minutes. And I'll end it before eight minutes, so... That's how you know that I have integrity. Uh, please join my Patreon. I have merchandise available in the description. You can buy it. Uh, you can send me money. Just give me money. I just I just want your money. Give me all of your money. And I don't think Elon Musk bought KSP2. <laughs>